Hugh Jack Graham was serving time for stealing $35 when he was wrongly accused of killing a prison guard. He was convicted and spent three years on California's death row. Then, after a fourth trial, the court determined that he was innocent. I was 27 years old. A young boy standing up for social justice. And as a consequence, I was described as a guard, as an agitator. His case is not an isolated one. Since 1973, 138 people have been freed from death row after their innocence was proven. Others have been executed in a miscarriage of justice. The state has a responsibility and a right to protect its citizens. But the state doesn't have a right to kill in our name. What's the difference between a murderer and a state that murders? Graham has a great deal of sympathy for the more than 3,200 inmates awaiting execution in U.S. prisons right now. The majority of them are African Americans. So I committed myself to making sure what happened to me never happened to anyone without me raising my voice. Graham travels across the country to speak publicly about his experience. Here in Virginia, the hall is half empty. Most Americans support capital punishment. Amnesty International is campaigning to change that. To date, 16 of 50 U.S. states have abolished the death penalty. The U.S. death penalty system is absolutely broken. It is riddled with error and bias, uh, and it has failed public policy. Former death row inmates like Graham need the support of family and friends when they are released from prison. When they came out of prison, they kind of isolated in their bedrooms. Many times he will isolate for hours because it's a comfort zone. And then he'll be in the world and enjoy people, but then he can come back into that cell that many of them live in in their heads still. Shuja Graham will continue his fight against the death penalty as long as he lives.